Uh, Sliding with the pack, I'm on one wheel. I might walk this whole block with no front wheel. Nah, I ain't a stunt man, but my stunt's real. Pop a Willie in my mink for the stunt reels. Race cars or bikes, we got them all. So throw the wheels up in the sky, it's time to ball. One way. Remove all the factory, well, not factory, but all the V brake components, and we're gonna get busy. Stay tuned. Little man's getting ready to go outside, ride his dirt bike while we take a break. So we'll uh, we'll keep the video going, and uh, yeah, that's that. All right, I don't think we really need to bore you with removal of the front wheel, and changing the tire over to the new front profile hub as you can see big shout out to stack bmx shop follow them on instagram and profile racing here you go stack bmx shop and uh, as you see, we are inside Burlington County Bike Shops to do the conversion. Follow at Burlington County Bikes on Instagram. Uh-oh, what's that? Boston Ripper. Hood Rich with the bike strike. Participants voice and likeness for the movie for use in media production. That is ten years we tell. Yeah. No, man, I like just touching the phone. Alright, let's go put that tube in it. Putting that disc on. <laughs> That's good. Let's go, little man. Start getting your brakes off. Let's go. Start getting everything off. You can get that front wheel down the entire. All right. So you see the wheel is in there now. You got to spread the frame, the back end, just a little, well, five. Uh, just a little bit. Five millimeters. Two point five on each side to fit that adapter in there. Just a little bit. Don't worry. Don't worry. We got it. Let's open her up a little bit. You heard Hood Rich. Yo, what if we let the V brake go into a double lever? Ooh, should we do some trick stuff? I was going to do that on my bike so Courtney, because she was left handed. So yeah. I had the monster Front wheel is back so on. We We're going to do the gray camo out. now. All right, so front wheel's on, front tire. Obviously, that's simple. We didn't need to show you that. We got the Shimano XTs. Just getting them prepped. Just a test fit here. Jimmy was just bleeding the caliper, but this is all just a test fit. Just a magic syrup. Yeah, bro. That's the Kool Aid you don't want to drink. <laughs> Nice and slow. Hello, Aiden. Are we going to stop and get the brakes? No. And do that thing? Alright, little bubble there. Some back in and you can't. I'm trying to get the bubble out of it. Oh, uh, so when you're when you 
put it in a syringe, you're getting, you're doing no bubbles in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I try to get that as best okay, as much good. air. Yeah, because uh, yeah, yeah, you want to introduce any air to the line. So basically, you want this is your master cylinder. So you want to do a tap, and then what you want to do is that, that's your bleed port. Crack that open. So then now, always make sure you get that little O-ring with that. Make sure that this comes out. Shut that. With the reservoir. So basically, kind of like a reservoir. Pop that in. Just do that, get that ready. Now, come to the caliper. Just pop that bad boy off. Grab my seven. Pop that on there. Actually, shit on. I'm such a man for it. Boom. Crack that open. Oh shit. And then what? Now, crack this open. That plug up. Took the plug out. And now you're gonna feed the fluid. Yeah. See where the bubbles pop up? Yeah, we see all the bubbles. So you keep going until there's no bubbles? Yeah. Close it back down as you bleed for it. Close that shit back down. Then, cap and hang them below with the still open. Yeah, hit it. Flick that. Keep going for it. Yeah, flick it. So I, I like to do this. I flick that shit. Yeah, there you go. Bye. So there's any air bubbles in that shit, it's just gonna knock it open. I see them coming in a tiny bit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, look, let me drop it down. Sometimes you can see it right through the, right through the hole. Let me drop it down. You wanna do an endo? You wanna do an endo too? So we're gonna redirect on the top of the hole. Push on it. You see it? See what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. Let's get that out of there. Keep doing it. So basically, what you're doing is as you hit it, it's basically allowing that to drop down into it. And then the air bubbles, gravity is gonna feed up. So. Do it, pal. The more you do it, you see how it's getting less and less. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like gone now. Yeah, so once it's gone, then you want to take a quick look real quick. Basically, plug it. Unscrew it. What you want to see here is exactly that. See that little pool? That pool is good. Make sure you get your bleed for it back on. Make sure that O-ring's back on there. And then just clean it up with like ice purple alcohol. You can use water too. It's just mineral oil. But yeah, whatever's clever, just get that shit cleaned up. And then we are going to get this brake on there. There you have it. Needed some shims in there. So, you know, it takes some skill. You got to know what you're doing <laughs> to, you know, you want to center that caliper on the disc. Now we'll take it off, put the tire and tube on, and then we'll put it all back together. Thank you for a ride. Put the tire on now. Alright. We live. We got 40 more people <laughs> pulling a disc back so mm. it's teased. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Profile hubs, 
profile rims. Shout out to Stacked BMX, Larry. Stacked BMX, Burlington County Bikes, Jimmy in the house. Larry, we need you. Yes, late night, Larry. Dialing it all in. I don't think little man's gonna be able to do any combos. Them brakes are sharp. Whoa. You're gonna hear him coming at the ride outs. Hit the brake. Woo! Lower. There you go. <laughs> the world's first 20 inch disc brake SE bikes ripper. What's up? Talk to me here. What you about right. to do? Go for a ride? What? what? I'm about to go for a ride. For real? Let me see some. Let me see you tweak it. That profile hub, oh my God. Come back this way, give me some. Give me a nice little wheelie. Remember what I said? Remember what I said? Remember what I said? Oh, you yeah. dropped, you worming. Remember what I said, once I get the disc brakes, I'm gonna learn how to drag. Yeah? yeah. You can't go too far, I can't see. You gotta come up this way and do it. I can hear his hub from here, dude. And when he's, uh, he's now, so much better, so he has better control going forward with that nicer brake now. You can see it, like, when he goes back, he can, like, stop himself. Oh, he's already wanting to touch. I can see it. <laughs> 